Hi, welcome to KR Educational Dunya. Here we are going to dis discuss some unsolved problems on DC circuits. First problem is find the node voltages using nodal analysis. So in the nodal analysis, the first step is finding out the number of nodes. Here, if I redraw this diagram, there are two current sources they have given. If I redraw this diagram, the diagram will be like this. So what what is what do you mean by node? Where three or more branches meet together is called a node. So if you observe carefully, this one point, this two point, and there is a down one more point. So total three nodes are present. In that one node will be considering as a reference node so v reference equal to 0 volts so how many unknown nodes are there still 1 and 2 so name it as v1 and v2 at v1 so uh, think that v1 is having a very high potential so whatever currents are flowing uh, currents are there that currents are flowing through v1 okay these are assumed currents so i am considering it as i1 current i2 current and i3 current again coming to coming to the v2 potential think that v2 potential is have, having high value so wh whatever uh, currents are flowing it is flowing through i2 these are the assumed currents so here from V2, I4 current is flowing, I5 current is flowing, I6 current are flow is flowing. Okay. After that, write down nodal analysis. What is nodal analysis? Nodal, nodal analysis means applying KCL plus Ohm's law. So, here I am applying KCL uh, plus Ohm's law. Right? So, applying KCL at node V1. So, I am applying KCL at node V1. So, the algebraic sum of currents in a node is equal to 0. So, I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. What is I1? That means you have to always calculate from one node to another node. So, from I1 means the current flowing from V1 to 1 amp current source to V reference. So, one node to another node. right? So, here uh, if you observe carefully the current 1 amp the direction is towards the V1. I told you the assumed currents we are thinking that V1 is having high potential. So, this is in reverse direction. So, put minus symbol. So, at I, I1 put minus symbol and put 1. Okay. After that now I2 current. I2 current is from V1 to V reference. Okay. That is uh, V1 minus 0 by resistance V by R, I equal to V by R, right. So, what is the resistance? 2. So, V1 minus 0 by 2 as minus 0 is having no value. So, I am writing V1 by 2 plus one more is there from one no V1 node to another node that is I3. So, V1 and if you observe the V2 current is flowing uh, coming towards V1. So, it is in reverse direction. So, put minus. So, V1 minus V2 by 6 ohms is equal to 0. So, after that write down the solution, okay? write down the uh, simplify it okay? and uh, another node is there that is V2. So, I am applying KCL at node V2. So, I4 plus I5 plus I6 is equal to 0. Right? So, what is I4? I4 is the current flowing from V2 to V1. So, V2 minus V1 by 6 plus V2 by 7 plus why I am putting plus here because I 6 current assumed current and the current direction of the current source of 4 amps is both in the same direction. So, you have to put plus symbol. So, plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, simplify it you know, from these two solutions. If you put in the calci, directly you are going to get the values of V1 and V2. So, V1 equal to 2 volts and V2 equal to 14 volts. So, here for the network shown below, find Ix using loop analysis. Here, there is two voltage sources and already they have asked you the current flowing in 2 ohms Ix value. Okay, So, we need to find out the current flowing in Ix uh, that is 2 ohms. Okay, You can use 
only loop analysis if they are asking otherwise you can use either nodal analysis or loop analysis now i am up using loop analysis first of all see how many inner loops are there here if you observe carefully there are two inner loops are there so uh, there are many methods this is one method so as assume that every current is flowing in clockwise direction so draw the uh, uh, current flow in a clockwise direction in two inner loops okay and put the names as i1 and i2 and as the current is flowing in clockwise direction start from a okay whenever you are applying kvl your starting letter and ending letter should be same so applying kvl at the loop a b e f a like that you have to starting letter and ending letter should be same so and so from a you are starting right whatever the directions whatever the current flow is there so these are assumed values so put in, inside you put plus value uh, wherever there is a resistance the starting uh, symbol is plus and the ending symbol is minus and uh, at 2 kilo ohms also starting symbol is plus ending symbol is minus and here at the current source whatever is indicating uh, whatever symbols are indicating you have to put that symbols only so minus at the down plus at the top so now you have to apply kvl from a b e f a so from here the starting symbol okay this is uh, one of the easiest method so starting symbol is plus so put plus and one so kvl means voltage what is voltage according to ohms law v equal to ir you need to write the voltage value or you need to write down ir form okay i into r form so here i don't know the voltage across 1 kilo ohm so i am applying i am taking 1 into i1 and next the starting symbol is plus so again put plus next 2 into here two currents are flowing in 2 kilo ohms resistor but the main current is i1 right the main uh, assumed current is i1 so other current is flowing from down to top that is in reverse direction so i1 minus i2 2 into i1 minus i2 after that again the starting symbol is minus minus 9 is equal to 0 okay simplify it and write down in the form of i1 i2 and uh, equal to constant value uh, like that you have to write uh, simplify the pro, uh, equation after that i am applying kvl at the loop b c d e b so from starting from b uh, the current is flowing uh, the starting symbol is 4 plus plus 4 into i2 again starting symbol is plus plus 6 plus 2 into now the main current is i2 and the reverse current is i1 plus 2 into i2 minus i1 is equal to 0 so here you got this equation so simplify it write down in terms of i1 i2 and equal to constant like that you have to write after uh, getting two equations two unknowns are there two equations are there can you find out i1 and i2 by putting values in cal calculator you are going to get the values so i1 equal to minus 3 into 10 power minus 3 amps and i2 equal to 0 now ix equal to so in the problem they are asking ix so ix the direction is from top to bottom that is b to e so which current is flowing from b to e i1 current so always you have to write i1 minus i2 so i1 minus i2 equal to uh, minus 3 into 10 power minus 3 minus 0 so you got the value okay so ix equal to minus 3 milliamperes here you got minus value uh, right uh, so minus 3 milliamps next find vx and ix for the circuit shown in figure so here they are asking the volt the voltage across current source and the current across current source okay they are asking vx and ix at here here okay you need to understand this very carefully okay you need to observe the data also they have given 60 volts 5 amperes and all resistances okay so if you see uh, observe this carefully okay the same diagram i have drawn uh, here 
for easy understanding you should not draw in the exam but if you understand this circuit you can understand this circuit very very easily so for that purpose only i have drawn this circuit uh, so that circuit and this circuit both are same okay so uh, if you don't understand you can observe here okay so here the main current value is 5 amperes and the main voltage is 6 6 volts so i know the current i know the resistance can i find the voltage across 8 ohms yes voltage across 8 ohms equal to i into r 5 into 8 that is 5 is 40 volts so voltage across uh, 8 ohms resistor is 40 volts and the total voltage is 60 in the circuit given below okay if you observe see the total voltage is 60 volts and there is a 8 ohms resistor and remaining things if you solve you will get only one resistance right that is uh, voltage across 8 ohms and voltage across uh, the remaining resistance that is vt equal to v1 plus v2 you know v1 you know vt can you can you find v2 value yes you can find v2 value by subtracting total voltage minus v1 right so like that uh, here voltage across 10 ohms is equal to vt minus v8 voltage across 10 ohms is equal to vt minus v8 then you are going to get 20 volts after getting 20 volts now you know the resistance that is 10 ohms the voltage that is 20 volts can you find the current flowing in 10 ohms yes i equal to v by r so i equal i uh, current across 10 ohms equal to v by r v is 20 r is 10 you got 2 amperes at 10 ohms resistor right so now you know total current 5 amps you know uh, 2 amps current is dividing here so what is the remaining current that is flowing in 4 ohms simple okay total current minus branch current so 5 minus 2 so i, I uh, current flowing in 4 amps equal to it minus current flowing in 10 amps 5 minus 2 that is 3 amperes so the current flowing in 4 ohms is 3 amperes now you know the current you know the resistance can you find out the voltage yes voltage across 4 ohms equal to according to ohms law v equal to ir so i value is 3 and r value is 4 so 3 into 4 12 now you know the voltage across 4 ohms and only if you observe this circuit the total voltage will be voltage across 10 ohms and the uh, and this entire thing is in parallel with 10 ohms so uh, v10 minus v4 if you do voltage across 10 ohms minus voltage across 4 ohms you are going to get voltage across 2 ohms right so voltage across 2 ohms equal to voltage across 10 ohms minus voltage across 4 ohms 20 minus 12 8 volts so the voltage across 2 ohms is 8 volts simply you got the answer so here voltage across 2 ohms is 8 volts and if you keenly observe the current source is parallel with the 2 ohms resistor so in parallel circuit voltage remains same so vx equal to by observation vx equal to 8 volts now you got the answer of vx that is 8 volts after getting vx now you know the voltage across v, uh, uh, current source is 8 volts now find out the ix how you are going to find out the ix current through 2 ohms resistor by uh, see here in, in the down circuit the total current means current across 4 amps current across 4 amps is here if you observe current across 4 amps is 3 amperes right if you know if you observe carefully current across 4 amps is 3 amperes and current across 2, uh, two ohms is current across 2 ohms is 4 amperes so can you find out the current ix yes by putting a dot here okay by putting a node here so the algebraic sum of currents at node a is equal to 0 why i am applying node uh, kcl uh, no no kcl because here 
two knowns are there one unknown is there so entering currents equal otherwise there is another uh, definition the algebraic sum of currents entering into the node is equal to the algebraic sum of currents leaving from the node so here the entering currents are three amperes and ix so three plus ix is equal to leaving currents that is four amperes so three plus ix equal to four so ix equal to four minus three one amperes now i got ix value as one ampere so this is how you need to in this circuit find v1 and v2 in the circuit shown in figure so you need to find out the uh, v1 current and v, v1 voltage and v2 voltage okay that is branch voltages okay so here uh, the 12 ohms and 6 ohms are in parallel so find out the total resistance that is r a equal to 6 into 12 by 6 plus 12 4 ohms next the 10 ohms and 15 ohms are in parallel so 1 by r b equal to 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15 so uh, 10 r b equal to 10 into 15 by 10 plus 15 that is 6 ohms now you got 4 ohms and 6 ohms both are in series so i am redrawing the diagram 4 ohms 6 ohms uh, so r a equal to 4 r b equal to 6 and both are in series now if you observe this circuit can you find out can you use voltage division rule yes what is voltage division rule the branch voltage if you want to find out any of the branch voltage for example the voltage across r a that is voltage across 4 ohms v1 equal to total voltage into that same resistance by sum of the two resistances so here total voltage is so uh, v1 equal to total voltage 15 into same resistance 4 by 4 plus 6 you got 6 volts so the branch voltage is 6 volts similarly uh, branch voltage across uh, rb that is across 6 ohms is v2 equal to total voltage vt into r2 by same resistance by sum of resistances r1 plus r2 so vt is 15 and r2 is 6 and r1 plus r2 4 plus 6 that is uh, 10 so total uh, you got v2 value is 9 volts so v1 value is uh, the voltage across 12 ohms is 6 volts and the voltage across 10 ohms is 9 volts